Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's quick episode, we're going to be creating a dome. Now, some of you have utilized software such as SolidWorks, where it actually has a dome command. However, Fusion 360 does not. And you're wondering, how do we do the same thing? I'll show you. Okay, let's start out by creating a cylinder on the top plane. Let's make it about 10 millimeters. Okay. And for length, we're going to make it about 50 millimeters. Okay. Now, we want to create a dome on top of this, a perfect round dome. To do that, we use the fillet command. I'm going to select this edge, or we can select the top and drag it down. But what we want to do next is just click, left click this edge and it gives us a perfect dome. Click OK. All right. Now, we ran into a problem when we did this because the dome actually subtracted about five millimeters away from the actual cylinder. Let's inspect it. Let's grab this edge and this edge and the length is now 45 millimeters. So once again, we realize that the dome subtracted five millimeters. Okay, well, we can correct this. What we can do is in the timeline, go to the previous cylinder we created, edit feature, and we can just simply add back those five millimeters. So it'll be 55 millimeters. All right, let's inspect it once again. This edge and this edge is now again 50 millimeters in length. Okay. Final tip, rule of thumb. Let's say for the sake of argument that the diameter on this edge is about 10 millimeters. What you wanna do is actually divide it by two and what you'll come up with is what the dome size is gonna be. So what you wanna do is make sure you actually add that and it'll actually correct itself. So good example. If I had a cylinder that was 10 millimeters in diameter, I know that the dome is gonna be five millimeters if it's gonna be a perfect dome and it's gonna also subtract. So what I'll do is I'll add that five millimeters to the original design. All right, well, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope this tip was very helpful. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.